Hi guys! Happy New Year! Today is New Year's Day, January 1st, 2019. I got back to my apartment yesterday after spending over a week for Christmas with my parents at my family's house and yesterday I got home and kind of just threw all of my crap in my bedroom because I had people over last night for New Year's Eve um, and I wanted it out of the way and didn't really have time to unpack it all so today I'm unpacking everything I'm doing some laundry I just put my bedding in the laundry and I'm gonna have to put it in the dryer I tidied up in here a little bit after having people over and then later on today I'm gonna go to my parents house to have a pork roast because we have a pork roast every New Year's Day but yeah that's what's happening today I had a really nice Christmas break with my family we went bowling we went out to eat a couple times we went shopping a lot watched some movies it was all in all a good time and tomorrow I go back to work darn <laughs> I always feel like I want to go back to work after being on break because I like to get back into my routine because I feel like I just get in like a funk if I'm not in a routine so I like going back to work and back to school because I get back into my routine and everything but I don't know it's always a little sad too at the same time so yeah oh well what are you staring at Eloise? I'm scared I don't go back to school until January 7th but I go back to work tomorrow this week my trial ad starts up as well we have practice on Thursday night I don't even know what day it is I'm so out of it from being on break um Whatever day the third is, I think it's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday night I have trial I practice. I also have practice on Sunday morning, and then I go back to class on Monday. So, yeah, just going right back into the swing of things. The competition that we're doing this semester though is different. We don't have to do both sides of the case. We only have to do one side. So that means it's a lot less work. But still, um, we have like a short time period to do everything, which is why we're starting before classes even start. So we're getting ahead, start on it so we can finish everything before the competition because I think we only have like five weeks to prepare for it. So that will be stressful, but at least it will be over quickly and done with. That's what's happening today. I'm gonna go change out the laundry. Ben got me an espresso machine for Christmas and my mom got me these coffee and tea canisters from West Elm but I'm obsessed with the Nespresso machine I'm going to make another one even though I already had one today I'm gonna have another because I'm a little obsessed with it I'm going to do a half calf coffee and you just put it in the thing and the thing falls down in the back um, and they like recycle in this little container in the back right there and I'm gonna use a Christmas mug because Christmas isn't over it's still New Year's <laughs> and you press that button it goes down oh my gosh high tech then you press this button for the coffee to come out I'm also going to make milk in this thing which they call the Arochino I really like how the milk comes out in it it's nice and frothy there's the coffee coming out oh my god quite the concoction I don't like how these cords look though on the side so I kind of want to get an extension cord so like I can tuck them back there so it doesn't look ugly but for now that's what it's gonna be like and then for the milk you just press this button and it spins the milk around in there and makes it nice and frothy 
here's how the coffee turns out the coffee even has like a little bit of froth on the top but it's real tasty look at that froth oh my gosh So tasty. Look how cute she's being. She's tired. She's all nestled up in my arm. What a cutie. I need to get up to unpack all of my stuff and clean up my room, but I don't want to disturb her. She's just too cute. Oh, she got up on her own. Oh, just changing positions. <laughs> you okay? So sweet. Hi. <laughs> what a little cutie. I'm currently washing my sheets, so that's why my bed looks like that. But I'm gonna tackle my suitcase, unpack everything, and then tackle this mess over here. Such a disaster. This is just my Christmas gift stuff and boxes that I need to get rid of. Okay, time to tackle this suitcase. Ugh. I always pack way too much crap. And this time was no exception. <laughs> I'm basically just taking it out of here and throwing it on my bed so I can organize it. I can't believe it's already 2019. What? Another year gone by. This year went by really quickly. I feel like all of my years in law school have gone by so fast just because they're so busy. And it's kind of sad that they go by so fast, but it's just what happens. But what did I do this year? We got Eloise in the beginning of the new year. We got her right after New Year's last year. I turned 25 years old. I competed in a trial-out competition for the first time. I got a new job. We went to Myrtle Beach, Ben and I. Went to Lake Tahoe. Ben's nephew was born, that was a pretty big deal. Competed in another trial ad competition. Started my final year of law school. And yeah, 2019, I will be graduating from law school. I'm so excited. <laughs> I was ready to be done with law school before it even began. Not that I didn't want to go to become a lawyer or anything. I was just ready to be done with school already at that point and I had a job and like liked working every day and making money and creating a life of your own and I feel like with school, your life is kind of put on hold because you're not really making an income. You're kind of living off of a loan and going to school like school's your main focus. So everything else goes to the back burner. I'm really looking forward to having a full-time job and making an income and moving on with my life, really. I feel like I've been in a limbo since I've been in law school for three years because that's been the main focus. Gotta get that degree. Okay, got everything out of my suitcase. Now I have to organize it all. I don't really have any New Year's resolutions though. I never really make resolutions because I feel like they're never attainable and they never happen, so they just make you feel bad in the end. But I don't know. What can my New Year's resolutions be? I feel like if I'm gonna make a New Year's resolution, it's gonna have to be something small and attainable. Graduate from law school, I know that's gonna happen, hopefully, dear Jesus. Hope to God it happens. I would like to drink more water. <laughs> I know everybody says that, but it's true. I would like to drink more water. 
because I forget to do it a lot. I'd like to do well in our trial ad competition. I'd like to continue to do well in school. I don't want to like get senioritis or anything from law school. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about my classes this semester though, so that would be good. I'm taking employment discrimination, labor law, um, mediation skills, trial ad, and something else that I do not remember off the top of my head. Oh, and core competencies. But yeah, anyway, sidetrack. What else can my New Year's resolutions be? I would like to get 100 subscribers on YouTube by next New Year's. Right now I'm at 16. I think I can do 100 by next year. Yeah, I can do that. I'd like to pass the bar. I'd like to get a full-time job. I would also like to cook more. I think I made that a New Year's resolution last year. And I did cook a little bit more. But I would like to cook a meal at least once a week. That seems like an attainable goal. <laughs> my mom's probably rolling her eyes. She's like, I cook every day of my life. Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> so I would like to cook a meal once a week. And I'd like to try new recipes out. Those are my 2019 New Year's resolutions. Let's see if they come true. some of the things I got for Christmas. So my mom got me these holiday glasses. They're Ray Dunn. She knows I like Ray Dunn. But look how cute they are. She also got me this Christmas themed tea kettle which is from Macy's. Look how cute that is. I love it. So I'm excited to use that next Christmas because Christmas is over now. Guess I can't use it now or else I would. My brother got me these gummy candies that I think are made with alcohol. I don't think they're alcoholic though, but they're like alcohol flavors. Like margarita. I don't know what the other ones are, but they're pretty tasty. I like those. Ben's mom got me these slippers. I think these had gift cards in them from my sister that I took out so I can get rid of that. Tequila from my brother. <laughs> I forgot I had that. I really like this bag, but I don't know what to do with it. It's cute though, I'm gonna save it. My mom bought me this cat ornament when we were out shopping over break. I don't know if you can see it. I thought that was cute. I got Lush bath bombs from my mom. I already used one of them. It was like a tree, I don't know what you call it, but smell really good. Then I got the classic, I don't know what you call this, but I like the smell of it. And it creates um, a lot of bubbles. I also got this one, which I also forget what you call it, but I like the smell of that too. I think it's something nature-like, something with the word tree in it, perhaps. It smells good though. I got a lot of baking and kitchen-y things for Christmas because that's what I wanted. But, what is this? What is that? I'm gonna have to fix it. Oh my god, Eloise ruined my $11 bed skirt that I got on Amazon with her claws. Eloise! I got this loaf pan to make like pumpkin bread and banana bread and stuff like that. <laughs> Thrilling! I got these rubber spatulas. I got these rubber spatulas as well. Lots of rubber spatulas. And I got this small pan for like making brownies and stuff. I like all of that. I also got an ornament that looks like Eloise. Too cute. I got mixing bowls from Crate and Barrel in all three sizes, small, 
medium, and large. I also got this mug from my brother and his girlfriend, which is really cute. Look, it has little Eloise's on it. So cute. And my mom got me a coat from Land's End that's for like really cold weather. But I'm not sure if I want to keep it yet because I have a coat like this from Land's End from like years ago that I love and keeps me really warm when it's cold out. And I asked her for another one because I love that coat so much. And this one is kind of different though. I guess they've changed them in the past 10 years. <laughs> I've had that coat for a while, over five years. But yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep it because it's not as long as the other one, but I'm not sure how much that matters. I don't know, let me try it on again. I don't know, I think I like it. I think that's long enough for me. You know, it's not like I'm trudging through snow up to my knees or anything, so it should be good but I like it. It's super warm, and the pockets are lined with this fuzzy material, and so is the um, area around your neck, which I really like when it's cold out. <laughs> Keeps them nice and cozy warm. Oh gosh, so much crap in here. Where do I even begin? So I got this ornament from Crate and Barrel. It has a baby in it, but I want to put a picture of Eloise in it. Is that weird? <laughs> Might be a little weird, but I don't really care. Gotta get a picture of Eloise to put in there. I don't know what size picture that is. Like a wallet size? I don't know, but I'm gonna get it. I know exactly what picture I'm gonna put in it. <laughs> Bedding is done. So I'm gonna attempt to put that on right now. I hate putting the duvet in the duvet cover. <laughs> One of my least favorite things. Also, look how wrinkly this is. My battery ran out but the bed is all done nothing better than clean bedding I had to iron it too because it was too wrinkly for my liking so I had to go through and iron it which took a while um, but now I'm going to go to my parents to have pork roast dinner it's six o'clock I was supposed to be there at six o'clock so I'm gonna be late I had to wait for my bedding to come out of the dryer I had to put it on had to iron it it was a whole thing it was just so stressful and I don't know how I'm going to make it through this day. <gasps> just kidding. Okay, <laughs> time to leave now. <laughs> Hi guys. It is later on in the day now. My glasses are all crooked. But I completely forgot to film when I went to eat the pork roast dinner because I forgot I was even vlogging. So yeah. <laughs> but I'm back now. It's about 11.40. Oh my god. It's 11.50. To wake up at 6.30 tomorrow for work. <gasps> but right now I'm sitting in bed, getting ready to go to bed in the nice new clean sheets. They smell real fresh. <laughs> Ben's reading his book about the atomic bomb. <laughs> I'll probably throw a vlog on the TV before I go to bed. Happy New Year's, everybody. Do you have any New Year's resolutions, Ben? No. No? None at all? No. Wow. I haven't thought about it. I can't believe you. Just kidding. I didn't really have any New Year's resolutions either until I made some up earlier on today. So I had something to talk about on the vlog. <laughs> I don't even remember what they were now, so. <laughs> Just kidding. 
I remember some of them. Tomorrow I have work. Then when I come home, I have to write all my trilad stuff. Because then I have practice after work on Thursday. So I have to finish it all tomorrow night. Mm. Guess I'll go to bed now. Or turn on a vlog. I will see you guys. I don't know when. I don't know if I'll film tomorrow. I don't know when the next time I'll film will be. But until next time.